Oh yeah. Uh, uh, feels good. Feels good. All right, I'm starting this off. Hey, it's Dante Black. And I'm Songbird. This is Polar Opposites, the melanin edition. Before we start, she's going to read the topic, but I'm going to go through all the little political stuff in the beginning. Um, <laughs> I'm going to need y'all to go ahead and like this, um, subscribe, uh, share this. I need you to go ahead and talk to somebody, tell them about us, you know. Go ahead, grab their phone. And like, listen, I, I need you to see these two chocolate faces. And just go ahead and hit that subscribe Why you button on there. Chocolate faces. What? Okay. My chocolate face and her vanilla face. Seriously? Well, apparently you got a problem being chocolate. Okay. So I need y'all to go ahead and subscribe on their phone, subscribe on their <laughs> device, subscribe on your device. That way, when we drop these videos, it's showing up in your inbox. Be it's being on your notification. It be, it'll send you an email too. A lot of y'all don't know. Sometimes it send out an email, and that sound will say "ding a ling a ling." Now I've done the opening and introduction. What the hell is the topic? Actually, you have it. For our new subscribers, hello, thanks for tuning in, and our opposite fam, what's up, cuz? Thanks for tuning in. All that. All right, let's get into this topic. Y'all know me. Y'all fam. What's up? Let's get into today's topic. My significant other has a gay child. How do I inform them? I'm not going to lie. You say, hey, it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is funny. This is a serious topic. <laughs> Yeah, remember, let me tell them we hated it. Yes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Ooh, go ahead. Go ahead. Tell them, tell them your little piece. I got something I got to say over there. Oh, no. Well, I feel like this is a serious topic. If maybe they are overlooking things because that is their child and they just see their baby. A lot of times when people see things that their children are doing, they overlook it or they're a little lenient on it because... That's their baby, and you always see them through those eyes of them being your baby. So they don't see a lot of things that other people necessarily do. So you kind of have to show them in your eyes. You have to give them your eyes so that they can see it, other than just looking at their baby. Like, mm -hmm. the baby got a little too much twist in his wall. That's what I was just going to say. What the hell you mean that they, you, they can't see? You got your son around here twisting. Wearing makeup, you can't see that. You got man, listen, fuck all that. You choose not to see that. I think it's that people they they know that their child is a little little sweet in the cheeks, and they they don't want nobody else to, to say nothing about it. They know it, but they don't want nobody to point it out. And the moment you point it out, they get pissed off about it or they feel some kind of way. Like you need to just embrace it and be like, sit down and have a talk with your daughter or your son and be like, hey, do you like the same? sex that you are like you know talk to me and, and, yeah you, you know to open it up child. to them because they may not even know that that's what they're doing they may not even know that that's what they are maybe they're ashamed about it and y'all sitting here and just just my problem is the the adults the parents that act like they don't see it that's my issue because you see it you know if your son or whomever is some kind of way doing different things you know that for a fact. Don't sit here and act like, oh, I didn't know he was wearing makeup when he helped you with your makeup. That's true. Some of their eyeliner is, it can cut harder than mine. Exactly. If he always around you and you talking about girl this and you see him, he girl this and he walking around with the broke wrist. Right. Come on. You, you, yeah. You got to, you, you got to, at some point you got to acknowledge that. And even little girls, they be, oh, she's a tomboy, tomboy, tomboy. Okay, some girls, they don't like this tight clothes. Like, some girls, they don't like it, and some and they like wearing comfortable. Okay, but you still want to check in from time to time. Like, hey, I know you like jeans and shirts, but, you know, do you still like guys, you know? Can you put on a dress every now yeah, and then? like, do you like, like, you know, talk to them. Like, make them feel comfortable. That way, they'll feel comfortable with expressing to you exactly how they feel. But how you break it to them? This is how you break it to. Oh no. 
So let's just say you got um, you a guy and you dating a female and she has a son and you think that this son may be a little sweet. How do you approach the situation? I'll tell you what you do. First off, it's not your position to have the, the, the um, sex talk with him. That's not your position. No, no. So if y'all doing that, stop. That's not your position. You're not his dad, and you probably ain't going to be in her life ever. So that's not your position. How you approach the situation is you ask the mom. Be like, does look Johnny, does he talk about any girls or you know did he hang around girls and stuff like that or make a little joke like man look Johnny be getting all the little girls at school get all the little girls and she don't say nothing like yeah man it be a lot of girls around she don't say nothing like that that's an indication that she kind of already know she kind of already know or if you say something like that and she kind of like side eye looking at you like you know he get if she if she do something like that, you got to pick up on it how you bring it to her attention is simply this, like, um, I'm a direct person. I'm going to be like, man, Johnny gay. Well, tell me, tell me why he not. I don't think you should approach it like that. Maybe you should ask, like, have you noticed that he has these types of, ten he has a tendency to do this and do that? And, and then ask, have you ever had a talk with Johnny to see what his preference may be? You can take it out. I'm be like, man, Johnny gay. Let me tell you how he gay. Cause we went riding the other day, and I'm, I told him to look and see how how um how fat that girl butt was. And he told us that's a pretty dress. That boy gay. That's well, maybe boy. he just has respect for women. Nah, not at all. Not at all. Because it's it's different. See, a lot of females don't understand this. When men take little boys out or take boys out and y'all out, y'all do men shit. So conversations like that happens. So if I say this girl looks good, you better best believe say, yes, yeah, she look good or she looks ugly or something along those lines. This is how guys interact with boys. A lot of y'all don't know, but that's this is what happened. So this the whole respect thing that you have around mama, you have that around mama. This man talk right now. So I need to know you straight when we out here in these streets. Wow. I need this to know is that. where they're learning from, ladies. I'm being honest with you. It's not a man alive that a city and tell you that when they with their daddy, the conversations that they have about females is totally different from when they with their mama and the mama's around. It's not a man alive that oh, it's the exact same thing. It's, that's why it's called but man they, talk and it's called woman talk. Because but these aren't men; these are young boys. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. Of course, we ain't finna be talking about. Oh yeah, I get a doggy style. Of course, we ain't gonna tell that to little boys. But as a male figure, a, a older male figure, you do reach out to the little boys and be like, "You think she cute? You think she pretty? Because you got a probe. You want to know? You think she look good? She think look that? Or if you keep asking the little boy, do you think she look good? I don't know. What the hell you mean you don't know? It's a simple question. Does she look good or she don't? You got eyes, don't you? All right, answer the question. If she don't know, if, I mean, if he don't know, then... But those aren't the type of questions you should be asking children. You should be asking about school, the things that they want to do, their future and This ain't what the topic about. We trying to find out if shorty gay. That's what the topic is about. But it was how do you approach the parent? You That's approach the them. Okay, so you approach the parent, the parent. I say you approach them directly. Like, listen, if it's a concerns... Boy, From who? Just you? Yeah. If I'm out with, listen, I'm gonna say, listen, if I'm, if I'm out with Johnny, and we walk through the mall, and people think I'm walking with my lady because he's doing all this twisting, that's a problem. That's a problem. Don't take Johnny to the mall with you no more. But you gotta make a good impression on the mama because you know she gotta work too, and somebody gotta watch this kid. You ain't him. His daddy ain't in his life, and you the male figure in mind. So you think you, he can go with you? Like, yeah, I can go at him if he put on some man pants. What's wrong with the jackets he got on? Well, he has got a lot of cuts in him. Around <laughs> the cheek area in the back. Wow. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end today's topic. If you think that you should take the direct approach or just gently ease into it, sound off below. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, tag a friend, tell a friend, comment on this, and we'll see you next time.
Peace.